Hey guys, welcome back. So, I've got the PlayStation 5 up here next to the TV, and I thought I'd do a bit of a size comparison just to show you how big this is in comparison to the PlayStation 4, which is of course its predecessor. Yeah, it's, it's significantly larger. To be honest with you, I prefer the flatter design. I think it's more sleek and it hides away well, especially with the whole black color to it. But I'm guessing the reason I made it so big is because there's some serious hardware in this thing and it needs to stay cool. So especially if you're playing on like heavy graphics and stuff like that, I get the whole flow and the aerodynamic air uptake. I don't know, I'm guessing like that. Just comparing the controllers as well. So look, I, as I've mentioned before, the controller design on the new PlayStation 5 is phenomenal. I personally like the as I said the glossy enamel buttons I prefer the design the color display this looks more closer to a PlayStation 3 remote I'd say uh, this is just a completely different remote on its own um, as you can see it's it's just amazing so yeah now I'm gonna be setting them up someone did tell me that you can transfer the PS4 data that you can have on your current one to PlayStation 5 I'm hoping it's not gonna be too difficult but knowing PlayStation they're pretty good on making things efficient and easy to set up or to do a transfer so here we go connected the hdmi and the power cable to the very tall ps5 about to switch it on for the first time so here we go oh how cool look at this guys the led is like built into this it's like on the line how cool is that So they do provide you with one cable and it's not USB-C to USB-C, it's USB to USB-C. Alright, so we've got to use this cable now to connect the controller to the PlayStation. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny your aunt. And then press the PS button, right? What's the English United yeah, Kingdom because you know, United, United States. States. Continue, Mr. Continue. Button. No, turn off. Yeah, that's annoying. Button. Turning that off. Cool. Alright, so now it's a pizza waiter. Okay, so you have to connect to our internet. Done, son. This controller feels amazing. <laughs> Okay, so another thing as well, this PlayStation supports a 5 gigahertz internet connection, which is pretty cool. I think it's just got something to do with the bandwidth, which is faster. So you can do anywhere from 2.4 to 5 gigahertz, which is cool. Okay, I guess we have to set up the PS5's HDR. For your games, press the up and down buttons to adjust the brightness until the symbol is barely visible. Oh, um, yeah, let's do that. Boom! Everything is so new. Oh, and this includes Spider Man Remastered as well. So, I could choose between Cyberpunk uh, 2077 or alternatively Spider-Man. The reason I took this one is firstly it's more expensive and secondly it's an actual PS5 game where Cyberpunk was PS4. I've also checked a lot of reviews and I don't know, it, there's been a lot of backlash from the community, a lot of glitches in the game so I was just going to be like, you know what, I'm just going to stick with something that doesn't have problems. Thank you very much. Alright, there you go. In you go. Okay, so now you can set up your low power use, optimized experience, or custom. So I think we're just going to do an optimized experience. Always apply the latest updates. Make sure you have your game save. Make sure you save your game as it close during an update. It turns on remotely when you connect using PlayStation app or play. Charge controllers after entering rest mode. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot. I mean, whoever reads this, reads this. Suppose you could, but yeah, we're not going to do that now. Just confirm and move on. 
I hope manufacturers are seeing that this is what we actually do to turn the conditions. All right, so now it's going to do a system software update. Hmm, it already started. Yeah, that's pretty nifty. That is really nifty. I like that. That's the kind of, you know, that is a good experience for a first time user. I mean, like, I know PlayStation, but if this is the first time I would get a console and this would be a PlayStation 5, this experience so far has been really great because it, they've made it very easy to set up. That's really nice. Good on you, PlayStation. Right, so we're almost there, boys and girls. Okay, system software update restarted on PS5. Love that, though. It's stunning. It's not too loud either, it actually sounds pretty cool. Soft. Doesn't sound so bad, eh? Oh, this has got a built-in mic as well. How cool. Check it out, guys. It's like a built-in mic in the controller. That is epic. That, that is nice. Nice, nice. That is very nice. How many times do you want to install the update bar? Last touch. Again? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> So much updating! I honestly don't know how you'd be able to play PlayStation without a, a Wi Fi or any internet. Like, the world has changed. I remember when I had my PlayStation 1 and 2, this whole internet concept was like way, way futuristic. But yeah, I guess life changes. Okay, so my PlayStation name is Enerth Streeler, so that's E N A T H. Uh, S-T-R-E-A-L-A -A. If you guys want to add me or play with me, I am more than willing. I've got a few games that I do play, most of which is Star Wars related. So if you're a Star Wars fan, please hit me up. We can definitely play together or jam together. Okay, so I've entered the my PS4 login and okay, I'm securing my account. Fantastic. You already have another PS5 with a console sharing or content enabled. Do you want to enable console sharing? Off. Cool. That's with my friend. He also got a PlayStation 5, so I suppose that's what spurred this on. Oh, okay. So, can you finish configuring your PS5 by bringing over your users, games, and save data from your PS4? If you want to do this, you can transfer. Let's continue. The PlayStation 5 has picked up two of my accounts. One, which is me. This one is like an old friend of mine, so I'm just going to take that one off and say next. Transfer my data. Yes. Five gigs of save data. Yes, please. Oh, damn. I can't. I'm still 107.4 gigs exceeded. This is horrible. We need redemption. <laughs> I'm gonna have two gigs left. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I have 47 gigs available. That's great. So I'm gonna have to invest in an external hard drive. Thanks, PlayStation. Okay, so step one is estimated at 30. It's made time 34 minutes. Once you start the transfer, you'll need to wait for user data and save data to finish transferring before you can continue setting up your PlayStation 5. Transfer games and apps after restart. Games and apps will be transferred in the background while using your PS5. You can check the transfer. Okay. And now we wait. And now we wait. Thank <laughs> you.